Yeah, hi, my name's uh, Paul Clifford. I'm the Manufacturing Director of Aston Manor. Uh, we've been making cider since 1983 out of the West Midlands. Uh, we bought the Tiverton factory here in 2009 and um, over the last few years we've invested heavily into uh, modernising it, putting a new automation in. We're now making around about 80, 000, sorry, 80 million litres uh, per year, which is roughly 140 million pints per year, which is a huge amount of production. We make cider from beginning to end. Um, so we, we press our own apples in the, in the Morven Valley. We bring down the fruit juice to here, we'll ferment it into cider. We bottle it or we can it um, into a variety of formats. We believe we're at the leading edge of uh, packaging technology in the cider industry. Um, so let's go and see how it's done. The first stage is the fermentation farm. 30 tanks hold 150,000 litres of cider before glucose, apple juice concentrate or fresh juice is added. Each fermentation silo makes 100,000 litres per batch. It takes around three weeks to ferment to become high strength alcohol, which is roughly 13% ABV. It then heads into one of these cross-flow filters, which take the fermented base, still full of yeast and solids, and removes all solid matter, giving a pure, sterile cider, still at 13% alcohol. The leftover liquid then heads to one of eight tanks inside the brewery, acting as buffer volume for the filtered cider before the blending process begins. Firstly, it's diluted down to 4 or 5% alcohol, apple juice is added, as well as sweetening to get the right balance of dry, sweet or medium cider. Once blended with the right alcohol level, sweetening, balance and preservatives, carbon dioxide is added to can products to create fizz. For bottles, the carbon dioxide and water is added en route to maximise storage capacity. Bottles are made on site from a small test tube sized pre-form. Around 80,000 bottles an hour are made from these. They pass through one machine, then on to the next for sterilisation, before being filled with cider. The um, strength of cider here by... The production line moves on and bottles are packaged. Then, depending on client specifications, they can be added to different multi-pack quantities before being wrapped and sent to the warehouse. In the meantime, cans and bottles are tested in the lab. Cider is tested at each stage through the process to make sure there are no deviations in terms of fizziness or variations. Packaging, taste and can end seams are also put through their paces. Elsewhere, hundreds of empty tins come in soft and fragile and are stored in the warehouse. The cans are then rinsed with dry, sterilised air. They come into the filler at high speed, before the top of the can is seamed onto the can's body. The cans then head through a cooling process, before they, like the bottles, are packaged depending on the client's specifications. They are then taken to the warehouse. Four lorries can be loaded at a time, straight in by the warehouse operators, before being transported to a supermarket near you. So I hope you've enjoyed your insight into how we make cider at Aston Manor. Um, you've seen some interesting technology and hopefully you'll buy some of our products one day and enjoy them.